the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one Lord, Amen. Uh, I'm very happy and excited to be with you in this new series about Set Free. And we will be talking about uh, the issue of porn and how pornography has been uh, like an invasion to all the families, like a tsunami, not even an invasion. Um, and we will try to uh, speak about the problem and the issues uh, associated with it. Lots of solutions for teenagers, for parents, for couples, and we'll take it from there. I'm praying that this would be a fruitful series for everyone, and uh, we would be in touch uh, with you through uh, your emails and uh, through the, the CYC. So, um, uh, just want to tell you, uh, I will start with a story about um, a famous uh, grandpa. Uh, he is a church leader and uh, he has been uh, noticing things that is happening a little bit weird in, in the setting of uh, the families. He has been talking to youth, no response, he has been approaching the youth, no response, he has been trying to do his best and reach out to those uh, youth, but there is no response. And he kept asking and, and seeking and saying, what's, what's the problem, what's going on? And he felt that there is something serious going on with the younger, younger generation, the millennials and the teenagers, definitely in the U.S. And, and everywhere. But he couldn't put his finger on exactly the reason, what's going on. It's like uh, being zombie spiritually, if we can say. Uh, and it was negatively affecting the reception of the youth everywhere. So we started searching and finding and, and asking church, other church leaders and finding what's going on. And they did a, res a preliminary research and they found that the pornography is a key in the disconnection of the youth from the church, from uh, receiving the, the message of God, from being uh, attuned to what the church is doing. And uh, this uh, uh, church leader funded over then $250,000 just for research to know whether there is, what is, what is the, the, the phenomenon of uh, porn in the church. And because of uh, Josh McDowell uh, has done this, uh, we have um, received the first research in the church. Unfortunately, it's not in the Coptic church because the Coptic church was not um, was not uh, part of the research, but they did the research on 3,000 Christians nationwide, um, asked them anonymously about the problem, and the, the results is, is, is very, very overwhelming. So um, uh, they called for uh, a meeting for church leaders in North Carolina in April 20, 2016. I personally uh, was privileged, I took the, the blessing and the permission from His Eminence uh, Metropolitan Ambassador about uh, going and uh, attending this uh, conference speaking about the, the porn phenomena in, uh, in, in the church in the US and almost for four days from 8 in the morning till 8 in the evening the, the top-notch speakers has been there attending and lecturing and we learned a lot and uh, this is the, the trigger. We're not going to speak about the, 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 this, uh, this uh, retreat or this conference for church leaders. But I'm just telling you that it is an overwhelming, heartbreaking uh, flood of tsunami or tsunami of uh, sexual immorality and inappropriate stuff that has been coming all over, everywhere, in every home, in every place. And um, I was recording uh, uh, an episode live on uh, one of the, uh, the, the Christian channels and I met uh, another priest after the show and he was there in the show and he told me uh, this priest was from Upper Egypt, Minas Said, and he asked me, he told me, Abuna, uh, you have, we have the same problem and I, I, I even, I couldn't believe that it is the same problem that is in Egypt, the same, same problem is in the US, same problem definitely in Europe so we are facing a big challenge and um, it is very important to raise the awareness and to know exactly what's going on. So the enemy is in our churches. The enemy is in our churches. So back to the story of the, 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 the grandpa, 
what he realized is that the reason of all these issues and the problems was happening because of the mind of the youth are fixed in something else. Uh, they are consumed with the inappropriate material, they are consumed with the, uh, with the provocative material that is, uh, uh, as we will know in one of the, 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 the series, and set free that uh, porn is an addiction. And I will show you pictures of the brain, normal brain, pictures of a brain uh, using heroin and picture of a brain using uh, or have been using or watching porn for a long time. And it is, it is very, very remarkable. So, and scary as well. So, the enemy is in our church. And in every single church, the enemy does not discriminate who, whom to attack children, young adults, youth, teenagers, single, married, couples, servants, deacons, church leaders, everywhere, even seniors. The wounds are debilating and weakening our forces big time because it's like uh, you are in a boat and there is a storm uh, and, 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 and you want to go to your destination and there is a leak, a huge hole in the bottom of the boat that is, is leaking water inside of the boat and what is happening is, is the boat is sinking and you are not aware. Uh, you don't see it, but uh, but this is unfortunately what is happening. So we'll, we'll talk today about uh, quickly the definition of porn and the magnitude of the problem of porn. Uh, before saying this, I will share with you a very, very uh, remarkable and uh, amazing uh, uh, saying of St. Anthony the Great. He said, a time is coming when men will go crazy. And when they see someone who is not crazy, they will attack him saying, you are crazy, you are not like us. And this is what is happening. Now, the norm, uh, what I asked even youth uh, anonymously without revealing any, any uh, information about them, uh, this is what they are talking about. Well, this is when they are hanging around, this is what they share, this is what they text, this is what they share on, on the group text, on Snapchat, on Instagram, in my private group, uh, uh, that they are in, uh, it's all over the place. So we have we have a, 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 an issue that uh, is affecting all the church, every single person. So may God uh, protect us. But I want to tell you also about something important that this is, porn is not the only, or sexual immorality is not the only challenge. There are seven deadly viruses in the air. I think of uh, someone who's immunocompromised you know that uh, if someone is sick and they have their immune system is down, so they call them immunocompromised. So if there is a, someone who is in the same home having a uh, flu, uh, they will infect this, this immunocompromised uh, patients because simply he doesn't have an immune system, he doesn't have uh, the, the army or the defense system of the, the, the body to defend himself. We have the same setting in we are immunocompromised spiritually and the virus is all over us and we don't defend what is happening because of we are not aware or because of many reasons so those seven deadly viruses we are not going to speak about them but i'm just listing them but I, and i will tell you that how the devil took three of those deadly viruses and did like a, a combined bomb that is ticking and it is very risky in the face of uh, kids, youth, families, couples, married and even single and senior uh, people as well. The seven deadly viruses, selfishness, hastiness and superficiality, business, uh, sexual freedom, materialism, addiction and atheism. And if you, everybody now is selfish or very, very uh, moving very fast, hastily and taking things superficially, we are very, very busy, we don't have time to go or, or to dig in anything and that business leads to hastiness and spirituality because I'm very busy, I'm very uh, quick or, uh, or speeding up to, to do things very fast and that's why I don't dig in depth in anything. Sexual freedom, materialism, the power of money, addiction and atheism. 
when you put selfishness and sexual freedom and addiction, yes, addiction, porn is, an, is a drug, and they call it even a new drug, and some of the states in the U.S. counted uh, the, 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 the phenomena of pornography as an epidemic that is going and it is ruining the life of men. The, so when you put all those things together, uh, you see the, 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 the impact or the, how, how important is that we address this. Just for the sake of the record, in 1989, there were 14 million web pages that is inappropriate material or porn. Um, and by the way, the word of porn comes from pornea in Greek, which means adultery. I was in. And in 2013, it is 20, 260 million web pages, and it reached lately up to uh, 420 million web pages, and they said that in order just to see this, uh, the, the, just to go through just the web pages without going for every single thing, that it would take ages and ages and ages just to go through all this filthy material online. 25% of internet searches is about pornography, 35% of downloads is about pornography, 90% of kids from 8 to 16 years old have viewed pornography accidentally and the person will be saying what is going on why the kids are are um, are seeing porn accidentally and i will tell you about um, the former fbi uh, chief uh, who was uh, interviewed by james dobson on on a radio show and i i i was listening to this live and uh, he mentioned that there was or he mentioned that the fbi chief he mentioned that uh, the porn industry is targeting the kids per se because if they target the kids they have customers and clients for life and that's why a, a, a 10 year old boy searching for a pokemon card and when he searched for pokemon an ad is popping up telling him you know what uh, do you want to get a free Pokemon? He click yes and this will drag him to an inappropriate website and the kids are getting exposed to this filthiness on an accident basis, not that they are evil kids searching. So they are victims, not perpetrators. So the whole point is there is an overwhelming uh, uh, pressure from everywhere. The largest consumer of internet pornography is from 12 to 17 years old. The average age of, of people, kids getting exposed is eight to nine years old, and kids are victims. Uh, it is not, um, they are not evil kids. And I will give you an example that the mindset, unfortunately, of those who are uh, making this inappropriate stuff is simply catch the kids, and when you catch the kids, you have them for life. Like putting your, st or stepping your foot on a wet concrete that has a landmark of the wet concrete for life. While if you put your st or step your foot on a dry concrete, it's not going to do anything. But the mindset is that evil, and my prayer is through this um, series of Set Free, that we will tackle more the, the problem, know the effect on this, of this problem on the family, on the kids, on the church, and how to tackle it and how to set, really set free from uh, practical steps, spiritual steps, and also scientific steps. May God uh, uh, be with us, protect all our families and all our, uh, our kids and youth in, uh, in Egypt and everywhere because it's a challenge that is encompassing or is attacking uh, every church and every single family who wants to live a righteous life in the fear of God. And glory be to God forever and ever. And Thank you.